we are going to paint this lilac. Now I'm going to use my scruffy brush. This is the scruffy. I've got it loaded with paint and I pounce it off onto the palette. Now this is a dirty palette, but you'll get the idea. See, here's my purple. Then I kind of pounce it off to make sure I don't have too much in the brush. This is, uh, like I said, Plaid Folk Art Perfect Purple. And I'm just going to fill in with my pouncer or my scruffy brush. Pounce in the background. Now you can do this with um, different colors of purple. I liked the Perfect Purple because it has more of a blue tint to it than the other darker purple. Now Plaid Folk Art has um, brought dioxazine purple back and I need to get some of that and that was always my favorite dark purple. Now that is pounced in like I wish it to be. Always use a dry scruffy brush. If it's damp it won't um, do the coverage the same. It ends up making it foamy and whatever. It just is not a good way to use the brush. Always dry. So now I'm going to come in. I have a number four round and I'm going to get light lavender. This is Plaid Folk Art Multi-Surface Light Lavender. I'm not going to use any white right now, but I still have some Perfect Purple also on the palette, which I will use. And I'm going to start by just doing these petal strokes. I press it down, pull, lift to a point. And I'm not going to do full flowers yet. And I'm not going to do them all at the same height from the edge, like some will be closer in, some will be further out, like I even do some way out here. And if I want to make them darker, I can add a little bit of the Perfect Purple on the brush. And that just gives them a little bit different look. And you're just going to fill in around the edges. Don't have to be perfectly round, you're just going to fill in some petals. I kind of do them in sets of three. You could do two, but I, I just fill in. And as I get closer to here, I want to be on the lighter side. So the further back I am, the darker, semi-darker, not a lot. And I don't care if some of the perfect purple shows through. And I, and I want to do this when the undercolor, the base, is still slightly wet and then you'll get some of the darker in it. And if you're not getting enough to your satisfaction, just add some purple, perfect purple on your brush. And just keep filling in. And you could do some complete flowers, five petal stroke flowers in the center. And from here, like here on the tip, I'm gonna make one right out here like that. And it had a little bit of the perfect purple in it, which is just fine. And then I'll do two like that. And then I could start making the more layered buds. And be random. Try to be random. Sometimes you'll notice that you're getting them just too aligned or. And so you want them not to be perfect. You want them to be just random. Now here in the center I want to draw the eye forward to make it look rounder. So I'm going to get a tiny bit of white on my brush. That might be a bit too much. Nope, looks like it's just right. And then start making like towards the center some full, uh, that was a four petal or make it five. And it's going to blend. You don't want stark white. You just want them to be a little bit brighter right in the center to draw the eye forward. And don't overdo it. If you want to add a touch of highlight on the tip of this one, just go in and drag in some white to give it a little spark. And there you have your lilac. You could also come in with a liner or um, I can't think of a stylus and add some little centers like in a green. 
like whatever, maybe the lighter green that is in your leaves that you're going to put in. It doesn't have to be, or it could be the darker green. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me now have my stylus, and there's this is fresh cut grass, plaid folk art. It's a multi surface as well. And I'm just getting that on my, my stylus, and I kind of dot it to make sure the dots are the size I want. Let me make sure we're in focus down here. And you just kind of dot some of the centers of these little flowers. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just where you think a dot should be. And you don't want to get too dotty. Don't want it all over the place. So just add some, step back, look, and think, okay, good enough. And then leave it be. You can always add more. Taking away is harder, though it can be done. So that is how you paint a lilac.